and what a main event we got. A banger, I think you would say. I'd agree. Banger and a half, I would call it, actually. Maybe even a banger and three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> At least two thirds. <laughs> Definitely. Jacob Bone taking on Slippery Pete Barrett. He is Jacob bad the to Jaguar. Them. Jaguar. I believe. Not bad to the yep, bone. that's the bad to the bone. That'd be cool. just missed an opportunity. I mean, we can go for it if we want. <laughs> nah, it's the Jaguar. <laughs> the Jaguar, really, Jake's Bone. Nah, I ain't gonna change it on him in a minute. <laughs> but I am gonna close not. this little uh, stanza before we get interrupted by throngs of fans. I agree. Uh, probably a wise choice if I don't oh, say so myself. As Jacob the Jaguar Bone awaits his second walk to the cage, Titans Cage. His first fight against Joe Gianetti was a war for the ages where they were going basically Don Fry, Takayama. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of big exchanges there. And Jacob Bone, you know, he's another guy who's he's been around forever. He's fought a lot, a lot of great talent. And, you know, he's always game in every fight he shows up in. 10 and 9 in his career has fought a who's who. And I'm still going off of that last fight against Joe Gianetti where, you know, he suffered an injury and that was the ultimate end of the fight. But, man, was that back and forth legitimately going Don Fry and Takayama grabbing each other by the back of the head with one arm, swinging relentless punches with the other. You showed exactly what he's made of, exactly what he's capable of, and why he should be a fan favorite in all fight organizations. And coming to us from upstate New York, you see a lot of Jaguar shirts here. The green shirt is more prominent than last time, where he's got some fans in the attendance here that have made the drive up. And we know that Plymouth Memorial Hall is always a welcoming home to any fans of Peter Barrett. Yeah, and coming from New York, I mean, he's fought the who's who of New England. He's got a win over Dan Dubuque. He's fought Andre Judy. He's fought Brian Sanders, Louis Carapi, Kenny Foster, Sean Soriano. I mean, this guy's done it all. It should be noted that when the JoJo fight, JoJo did come in heavy for that fight, I believe. That's true, right. yeah. So now with the Pete Barrett matchup, I feel like both on weight. Right. And they're also uh, two guys who uh, have made 45 in the past. Oh, yep. So they should be relatively close in size. I think he had a little trouble getting in on JoJo because of his length. And Pete just doesn't have quite as much length. So he might see a little more success. Wait, the other cage titans legend. Slippery Pete, Peter Barrett. Slippery. Another guy who has done it all, fought nearly everybody, fought everywhere. No stranger to this walk, no stranger to this cage. A legend in this building and at this promotion. Got to the UFC from here and is trying to get back going through this promotion as well. And now coming off a win over Spencer Higa. Trying to improve his record to 12 and 6 uh, and make one more run at the big show. Joe Lozon in his corner, Chip Maraza Pilar in the corner as well. One of the only people I've seen use a power bomb in MMA. Oh yeah, Successful. legendary. Yes, brilliant power bomb. One of the craziest things I've ever seen up close. She made it look effortless too. It was so cool. Yeah, and like we said, Slippery Pete. You know, this guy. He's been around K Titans forever. He's a UFC vet. You know, I've seen him finish people with vicious knockouts, seen him go the distance and hard fought wars. Been a fan of his since the first time I called a fight of his. Was a fan even before then when I was just a spectator. And uh, it's been a pleasure to call the good chunk of his professional career and sliding into another main event slot. Slippery Pete does against the Jaguar. Jacob Bone, read the tail of the tape, boys, All as right. I'm gonna make this official. Slippery Pete, two years older. Jacob Bone's going to be a few inches taller. Both guys weighed in at the weight class of 155, and both guys have 72 inch reach. And we're going to take it over to Andy for the last time tonight in the main event. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, all ringside judges are ready. Our referee for this main event fight, Steve Rita, is ready. These two fighters are waiting for you. If you are ready for these two main event warriors, Plymouth, Massachusetts, let them hear you! Legendary. Let's go! The main event of Cage Titans 54, a professional mixed martial arts lightweight fight scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of 10 victories and nine defeats. He stands six feet tall and he weighed in at 155 pounds from Leroy, New York. He's representing Bering Jiu-Jitsu. Let's hear it for Jacob the Jaguar. Boom! And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of 11 victories and six defeats. He stands 12 victories and six defeats. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and he weighed in at 154 pounds. From Abington, Massachusetts, he's representing Sikyotog and Lozor MMA. Let's hear it for Slippery Pete, Peter Barry. Love when Andy goes all out for the main event, pumping this crowd up. That was Outstanding. awesome. Oh, you yeah. brought the crowd to an 11 right there. Right to it. These fighters are gonna bring it to 12, though. Yeah, they are. Here we go. Jacob Bone in the red and black, Peter in the mostly black. Nice left kick from Peter. Early on, a couple of punches landed from both guys. Bone oh. landing a kick. Both guys are throwing down right away. And Pete loves that uh, left liver kick to the body. Oh, there it is. That hurt him. Like There's that. another one. And a left oh. hand over the top, too, from Pete. And now Bone coming back. And a head kick and a cut over the left, uh, the right eye of Peter Barrett. They're already. just trading body kicks. I would expect nothing less. I knew that this was going to happen when this fight was made. You know, late minute replacement for Peter Barrett as well. Originally slated to face Dewan Owens. Dewan Owens had to pull out in steps Jacob Bone. Nice jab from Bone. He told me yesterday he's been really working on his elbows. Oh, long punches. He's got to be careful. Elbows. He doesn't walk into a head kick. Yeah. Cut already. That left hook of bone might have been the strike that did cause the cut. Oh, Jacob Bone is loving throwing these kicks. Piston of the left hand that Pete throws. Love it. Oh, there, there it is again. again. <laughs> nice kick from Bone to the body. Right hand and then the leg kick. Oof. Nice inside leg kick. Nice inside kick again. Pete stalk in the middle of the cage. Nice, nice left hand. That was a hard one. And another one after the hook. Bone moving ahead and getting out of dodge, but Pete finding some success with the hands here. Jacob Bone's really working on that body. Ooh, another right hand. Oh, and a head kick from Bone. Oh. Peter eats it and lands a left hand. 
Man, Peter's got a chip. Yeah, he does. Nice liver kick. Dropped the elbow ball, it looked like. Ooh, that one hurt. It's the fourth or fifth one that he's landed. Oh, nice hook from Bowman. Again. Damn. Oh, they are adding up. Definitely. Yeah. They have to be. Pete's uh, leg is really red now. He was doing that to JoJo as well when he fought Joe Giannetti. A lot of leg kicks being exchanged, and it's like, no wonder a leg injury was the end of that fight. Bone, relentless with his kicks to the legs. Oh, nice, one. and he, he, he disguised oh, it with the right hand. You saw the steam come off of Bone's body with that body shot that Pete just landed. It's warm in here, oh, so man. they are sweating. Nice to the body. Ooh, beautiful knees. You mentioned that clinch game is going to be a differentiator for Peter Whoa, Burry in this fight. They're throwing down We've here. We've seen him use it against guys like Zach D. Oh, there's an elbow. These guys are throwing at each other in the in tight. I think the Jaguar is like just loving his life he's right now. Fun. Oh my he's God. having a smile going with those underhooks. What a fight this is. This is the fight he wanted. Well, it's been a great fight. It's been a great round thus far. Bone with the leg kicks, throwing upstairs. Pete's bleeding a bit, but Pete's putting the hands together, ripping to the body. Both guys having a lot of success here. This is just a fun fight, very entertaining scrap. The high caliber nature of the pro fights, you don't always see them let go as much maybe, but these two are throwing caution to the wind. Ooh, nice Ooh. elbow from Barrett. Short elbow. And a knee from Bone. I like the way Bone disguises his leg kick with that overhand. Yeah, both hands too, really. He'll set it up with the jab. Oh, whoa! Oh, he won. Peter Barrett with, with the big combination. Has him hurt right to the guillotine. Might have cut that head with that elbow. Yeah. Oh. Another nice elbow there from Peter Barrett. Now Bone is bleeding badly. at the side of the temple pretty badly. It looked like a nasty gash that Look was at there. Pete's chest. He's got blood all over it. It's like he's they like, got like reservoir here. dogs. Oh. Bone's gonna survive That's here. That's the takedown, though. Yep. Very nice takedown for Bone, especially after he got hurt. And to mount. go into mount. Seems unfazed. Uh, oh, he got tagged. Oh, he's he got tagged, and then Very. when he shot in, he got stuck in that compromising position when you're susceptible for those elbows. And Pete Barrett landed a nasty one to the temple, right above the ear, and it looks like a nasty gash has opened up Definitely. on the side of the head of Jacob Bone. It's like pouring, I think, would be a pretty solid word. Oh, well, the physicians are in there looking. They got the end swell on the eye. Peter Barrett getting iced down by his corner. A grueling pace through five minutes. Good eye, getting, uh, the doctor's taking a good look at that cut on the side of the head. Bone doesn't seem to even notice it's there or care. Yeah, he just wiped the side of his head and his entire hand had blood all over it. I mean, if it's bleeding a lot, that's all right, but it's gonna be like a depth thing for right, doctor right. to call it. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not a doctor. I don't Especially on the head. About it, but. Pete's off the stool. Jacob Bone is off the stool. Looks like they're going to let it continue. They're going to keep going. It's a bloodbath. I love it. Both guys are cut. Both guys know what each other has in store. Bone, 100% of his fights at Cage Titans have resulted in him being a bloody mess. I love it. Oh, he wants to be wiped off, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's almost, I mean, all that blood is kind of like, you know. Or slippery more? So. Yeah. Now, now look at that towel. Uh, it's still, and it's, uh, for what? Love it's, that. It's just coming back. And here comes the blood. Like all I right. said, it's like a reservoir dog. You just keep showing up. It's a bloodbath. All right, here we go. I want to get a look at that cut. I haven't seen that side of his head. Ooh. Oh, he stumbled there. Oh. Ooh, both guys landing left. Jeez. Bones jab is finding a home. Oh, nice oh. left hand from Peter. Pete's got, yeah, Pete's looking oh. for that left hand. That's what he hurt him with. Pete's definitely got the power advantage. They're both landing here. Oh, man, what a slugfest this is turning into. Oh, my God, this is violent. Oh. We're getting, we oh, need oh. punchos. Oh, poke, I poked. That looked like a punch to me. I'm not sure what happened. Bone thinks oh, he got here we poked, go. We're going to keep going. They're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Oh, there's the shot. Nice sprawl. 
He's got great wrestling. Toughness from both of these guys. Both well, guys are leaking. Right, streaming down both of their faces. Unreal. Bro. What a main event this has been. Oh, oh. nice knee. That the bone was... in on a single now. Peter Barrett framing and avoiding nice that. A nice body. knee for his troubles again. These guys are throwing down. Bone definitely slowing down right now. Oof. Left hand on point for Peter Barrett, oh. wiping the blood out of his own yeah. eye. Getting an inside leg kick from his. Oh, oh. stiff oh. left hand. Oh, there's another left. He seems out a bit. Bone still fighting though. Bone refusing to go down. Slipper just took a deep breath. This is such a dog fight. Whew. Oh my God, what a fight, are you kidding me? Bone going for that calf kick. Oh, oh another oh. one. There's the knee. Oh, 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 oh there's another knee. How is he standing oh, after that? He's oh. laughing. He's actually laughing. I just got something wet uh, that just uh, landed blood. in my eye. Most, if it was blood, I don't know, blood sweat, or sweat or spit. I don't know, but most likely it was a combination of the two. All of which, <laughs> plasma. Oh. Oh, he breathes a little heavy there. Oh, he man, took a deep breath. Are, oh, Evan, stop throwing. What a fight. Oh my, two whole minutes, two and a half whole minutes left Holy, in this round. Oh my God. Can they make it oh, to the last? Oh, right hand from Bone, and then a the left oh, hand right hook combo from Pete. Oh! oh that left hand oh, is dangerous. My goodness. Bone just refusing to go down. Now he's coming back, trying to land some offense of his own. Oh, and a left is. hand, right as he's coming in from Peter Barrett, and a knee. Bone, I think, hurt. Oh, man. And he keeps throwing and landing on Peter as well, but Peter walking through. Nice back elbow oh. after he missed the front elbow. Right hand, knee, right hand, Bone, grabbing the head, throwing right hands of his own. Oh, my God, we he's still got a minute and 40. What a round! Oh, that oh, was a big he's one. On Queer Street right in front he's of us hurt. Here. He's hurt. Unbelievable. Now Peter with the knees, Bone getting the underhooks, trying to get a breath, and he turns position over. What a fight! He's got that deep overhook on the left side, and maybe a full body lock. Who's got the cardio for this? <laughs> Superhuman. This is insanity. Oh, uh, Pete's got to be careful. He's got to get out of here. Jacob's got the back. He's looking to take him down. If Bone can get this oh, he's out. spinning back oh. elbow on the break. And Bone is still up on his feet. Uh, Pete uh. tries to go to it again. These guys are giving everything they got. Both men battered and bloody. Oh, Neither even nice close to, to beaten. That liver kick landed flush, and Bone just eats it and walks through. That left hand from Bone. Wow. 30 seconds. So you want to be a fighter. Oh my God, just a heart in the Oh, grid. nice knee. Peter Barrett trying to pour it on late in this round. Oh, Beautiful big elbow. elbow. That would hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh. That looked like it caught him right on the eye socket. Oh, big knee. How is Bone still attacking? Oh I don't my understand. God. Pete is throwing everything at him. That's got to be one of the craziest rounds Whoa. of fighting I have ever called. That was insanity. Neither guy going down, neither guy saying die. Both guys bloodied up to pulps. Whoa. Both guys wobbling on their feet, throwing everything. Leg kicks, body kicks, spinning elbows, straight rights, jabs, knees to the stomach. Five minutes or less to go in this main event, and what a barn burner it has been. Who wants it more, really? I don't know how to score it. It's all heart now. It's all heart. Both these guys are giving everything they have right now. 
I'm in awe. How Jacob Bonus withstood some of these shots is unbelievable. I, I honestly, I think that round has to go to Peter Barrett just because Bone looked like he was physically hurt and wearing the, the, the legs just went a couple of times. He didn't go down, but he was hurt and on his bike a few times during that round where I think that that is definitely a Peter Barrett round, whereas he was a lot closer in the first round. His inside leg kicks, right. and, and uh, they were going kind of tip a tap there. Really tough to score, to make an argument either way. But that being said, I am in awe and how Bone was able to withstand that punishment, keep continue firing back. Like, uh, just, uh, this, is, this fight has already garnered a standing yeah. ovation for me, oh, yeah. and there's still a full round or less to go. And, and you can see the shock on Peter's face when he's throwing everything for the kitchen sink at Jacob, and he keeps coming forward. Doubling up on spinning elbows that land and, and kneeing him in the face to get that head spun around like the chick from The Exorcist on one of those knees. And yeah. Bone just was like, just, just didn't even spit up pea soup. Just nope. kept coming forward. I don't know. Just game, game as they come. I, I can't even think of movie references anymore. <laughs> That's transcended movies, uh, movie references at this point. There's blood on half the towels and, and <laughs> stuff all over the place. There's blood on the floor. There's blood on my shoe. I know. We had to go to the hotel to get more towels. The canvas think. is covered in blood right now. Here oh, we yeah, go. brand new canvas. It's uh, got a fresh coat of paint, red paint of warrior blood as they slap hands to the start of this third round. Jacob the Jaguar Bone and Slippery Peter Barrett going to war for Cage Titans 54. Fourth of July weekend. Oh. And they're and right they're back to work. they're throwing down. No love, nice love no knee. time wasted. They throw all right hand from Peter. Pete's going for a Peter's, baroque right now. He's going after him. Oh, with the takedown. Remember, Pete. That's it. What happened? Oh, what happened? I don't know. That though, that was I a mean, barrage of elbows that looked like it kind of did look like Bone was unconscious there for like oh, the really? second one of those elbows. Is that what it was? And then when the referee jumped in to stop, I mean, the those, fight, were, those I heard it right here. They it were was, pretty bad, they were pretty devastating. Yeah, a lot of damage taken. And you can look at him now, he's like he's barely keeping his feet, he's completely exhausted. Yeah. Too tough. That's a I that mean, I think was one of those stoppages where that guy was just too tough for his own good. Right, 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 and right, right, right. Same he up. was getting up, he would have kept fighting. Had oh, yeah. Peter Barrett not pulled off, he might have landed a couple more of those elbows. For a split second, it looked like Bone was going to dispute the stoppage, but right now it's looking like the right call because both of these guys just put it all on the line. No quit, neither of them. And Peter Barrett puts on a sensational performance, mixing everything up in the striking department and finishing it off with some hellish ground and pound, devastating elbows, getting the third round TKO. Unbelievable main event fight. I can't be more grateful for both of these guys. Incredible. I mean, these Look guys. At the blood everywhere. These guys just put on an instant classic. I mean,. I've seen Slippery Pete in some classics, man, but this one, Jake's the cake. I mean, he had to throw everything at this guy, and uh, what a fight. Just back and forth, both guys landing big shots, both guys shedding blood. Just one of those fights that just, yep. Delivers what more can you ask for? Adversity on both sides. Pete Barrett gets his dub. 13th win as a professional. Beautiful work. Long night. Capped off with a great fight. But fights like this make it all worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, keep the noise going for these two. <laughs> Referee Steve Rita has called a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of round number three. Giving you your winner, 